Welcome to this video tutorial on the topic of workflow with Cerex Software 5. In this tutorial, we will demonstrate the workflow from the administration phase to the manufacture phase in the case of a single tooth restoration. First of all, we set up a new patient. We enter the last name, first name, if needed the date of birth, a patient ID, and the name of the treating dentist. Then we tap the button, Add New Case, at the bottom edge of the screen. The Cerex software takes us automatically to the administration phase, where we determine the restoration type, design mode, material, mill device, as well as the position of the restoration within the odontogram. Next, we will switch to the acquisition phase by tapping the Next button. In the acquisition phase, we scan our image catalogs. We start with the lower jaw image catalog. And here you can see the quadrant already scanned for our restoration. We switch to the next image catalog and skip the scan process this time too. You will find information about possible scan strategies in our tutorial called Full Arch Scan or Partial Scan with Cerec Prime Scan. Finally, we will perform the scan for our buccal image catalog. Within just a few seconds, the software merges the upper and lower jaw. The little green box with the check mark confirms this is done. In the case of full arch scans, it is possible to acquire a second buckle bite in the same image catalog. Next, we switch to the third phase, the model phase. Before we reach the model phase, the Cerex software displays at which stage the model calculation is. First, the models are created. Next, the model access is automatically set, and the preparation margin is automatically drawn. When reaching the model phase, you can check all steps and make corrections if needed. To expand the step menu to full size, we tap the two parallel lines. The green check mark in each step indicates that the Cerex software has performed each step automatically. Just for demonstration purposes, we switch back to the step Set Model Axis. You can clearly see here that the model axes have been ideally positioned automatically. For this to happen, a sufficient number of adjacent teeth need to be scanned both in the upper and lower jaw. It is recommended that a minimum of two to three teeth, both to the mesial and distal direction, are scanned. We go back to the step, Draw Margin, and we could edit the automatically determined preparation margin with the help of the tools if needed. Since this was also ideally defined, we switch to the next phase, the design phase. Based on the design mode, biogeneric individual, the crown has been designed. This phase offers for editing the initial design proposal, different tools and functions in the side panel. First of all, we look at our restoration with the upper jaw displayed. To do this, we tap the option Display Objects and activate the 3D model of the upper jaw. We deactivate the upper jaw again, and next we check our proximal contacts. By reducing the visibility of the lower jaw, we have a clear view of the contact area. For demonstration purposes only, we open our tools in the side panel. With the Adjust Contact tool, we can correct the distal, mesial, as well as occlusal contacts with just one click. Finally, we go to the last phase, the Manufacture phase. This phase also offers tools for correcting the sprue location or moving the restoration in the block. Also, you can display the lower jaw again or blank out the block. In the Manufacture window, we can finally determine whether the restoration will be manufactured by a connected grinding and milling unit or whether it should be exported into the in-lab CAM software. During the model, design, and manufacture phases, it is also possible to send the case data to a partner lab via our CEREC case center portal. 
Thank you very much for your attention. We would like to wish you every success when working with Sarek.